Yeah, yeah, we had to. You know, we all, like I said, at the beginning of the week, uh, our seniors came to us and they was like, man, we gotta hit the ground running for the first, first, first snap. We gotta just go out there and put our head down and let's go play ball. So, you know, we want to do that for our seniors. Our seniors told us to do it. We went out there and did. Is this? I mean, when you guys play like this, defensively and offensively, from the get go, is this sort of what we can expect as you guys go? With the, obviously, you got one more game. Uh -huh. If we play, you know what I'm saying, we play like this in the next game, I don't feel like, I feel like anyone wants to stop us. So we just got to play our game and uh, see where it goes from there. Could you tell once you guys went in the, in the halftime and you hit him with the Hail Mary, came back out, could you sort of tell at that point when you really hit him to start the second half that it was going to, you know, you guys pretty much hit the pedal to the metal and they were done? Uh, you could say it, but not really because, uh, you know, SEC, the game's never over. It just says 0-0. Zero, zero. You know, some, they can always get back in two scores, and then we had another game. It's a game again. So we just came out. We was like, man, we can't let up. It's still 0-0. Zero, zero. We got to go out here and put another court or another half together. Did it bother you guys defensively? I heard you say a minute ago that you wanted to show you guys weren't any joke defensively. Everybody kept saying that you guys were vulnerable, but, you, you know, you made plays when you had to. Was that motivation in this game? And would it be motivation when you go up against a team in a month that everybody says can't be stopped to show what you guys can do? Of course, it adds strength to the arm fight, you know, as a defense, you know, you always want to be that, that top defense, you know, and when people say that our defense here is sitting on suspect, they suspect here, they suspect that, you know what I'm saying, it builds up the momentum for us to go out, all right, here we go, let's hit the ground, let's go, let's tell everybody that we're not a joke, we did that. Are you hurt? Is your shoulders still hurting a little bit? No, no, I'm good. So you're good. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, 100 so saw you coming off the field greeting all the South Carolina players as they were going to the locker room. Talk about that a little bit and, and, and what some of them told you as you were going off the field. Uh, go win it all. You know, I talked, the last person I really just shook hands with was Garcia. He was the last one. Uh, he came to me. He was like, man, he played a good game. Uh, I watched it all year, you know. I hate that I had to face it two times, but you get good and go win it all for us. Yeah. Yeah, when you look at this team, Nick, I mean, you weren't a, you obviously played last year. You weren't near the factor last year or this year. Cam didn't play at all. Just to a, a difference two players make on a team. Have you thought much about that? The uh, impact that the two of you guys have had on this team this year? Well, I, I'm going to be honest. It's 11 guys on offense, 11 guys on defense, so it's just not two guys, you know. It's a team thing. Our defense, uh, of course, you know, we got a leader in Cam on offense. I got a leader in me on defense. We just try to pick up everybody and let's go with this um, get the show rolling. Did you guys, I was asking you, did you guys like sort of living on the edge this year? Was that, I mean, is that? Oh, it was fun. It was very fun, you know. Everybody picking us not doing it here, picking us not doing it there. So it just, it, it motivated us a lot, you know. In the locker room, Coach is always saying, these 70 guys here, the only ones that believe in all the family. So, it don't matter to us. That's great. Real wonderful, man. You know, it's a big, big time game for all the seniors. It's for all the seniors going on top. You know, I, I'm sure you've been, you know, about in 04, Auburn goes unbeaten and didn't get a shot to play for the national championship. Is this sort of, you guys sort of look at this maybe, sort of playing for those guys a little bit? Of course, you know, we play for Auburn, Auburn Nation. You know, uh, Travis Williams played the number linebacker 51. For them, he, uh, he spoke to us before the game. He was like, man, in 04, we want every game. We'll be everybody else in front of us and still having this shot. Y'all guys will if y'all beat these guys. And so that's when we went out there and tried to do our thing. Thanks, Nick. Thanks.